Now, I'm going to be tying just a basic nymph. Uh, here's the ear tight nymph. Uh, in this case, this is an actual, this one here, uh, this is a dyed olive. It's the same material, it's just a dyed, dyed olive. Uh, here's the ear, um, which can be obviously used for the, the body. Two good colours, I mean you can use the yellows, dyed yellows really good as well. Uh, great colour, there's a few other colours you could actually use. But this is a, a simple dressing, uh, dying a few for the beginning of the season. Now the hook choice, it's up to yourself. This is just a basic, uh, it's a full and mill hook. It's all purpose medium size 14. Two main, si or two main sizes I like at the beginning of the season. I'll, I'll use a 12 and a 14 or 12 and 16. The modern sizes are slightly long or slightly big. Uh, but I would say probably I've got more in the size 14 than any uh, at the beginning of the season and throughout the season. You can mess about with the dressing, it's very simple. Thread colour, I'm using black, I want a nice dark head. So it's you can use the same colour of dubbing if you want, but you can brighten it if you want. Yeah, I'm just going to wax it, get it for a start. But to add weight, there's a couple of ways you could obviously add uh, lead wire or lead. Or what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a fine copper wire, this is just a copper wire about it. And I'm just going to build up the thorax. Who, just to, to help with the taper, I put it onto a bobbin holder as you can see so I can wind it on. Now come down about 4 or 5 mil or so, take away the waist. I usually take it to the point of the hook and line the point, come back up. Just as a wee touch away, it gets the nymph down that wee bit better. I'm just going to take it all the way back up and then come back down about say about a third of the way, which is there. It's quite simple then, you're just going to break away the wire. The th thread's obviously waxed and I'm ready to tie. I'm going to start the start thread at the eye. And then control the thread turns with the waist. Just keep the waist piece tight and towards you. And you can then control the th thread turns and come over the, the copper wire to there. Then you can remove that. Now, this is pheasant tail fibre dyed olive, same colour as the ear. Use this tail fibre for the for, for the tail and for the, the legs. Don't be shy, put a few in. Just line them up, tie them in. Give a measure, say half the shank length. So you tie this on the top and wind towards the back of the hook just before it goes round the bend. You can then open the fibre out slightly. Check my length. That looks not too bad. And we can remove that. I'm just working on this area here, but just where I stopped uh, the copper wire back to here. Then I'm going to tie in. This is just a small gold tinsel. We take the thread back up to that point where I stopped the copper wire. See how the taper is there. Then I'm bring the thread back down ready for tying in the dubbing. Now, what I'm going to do here is just basically tear away the dubbing from the ear and then blend it within my fingers. Very easy. Right about the way. And then we're going to work our way up. Just lightly dub it onto your, your thread. At your time you're doing that. Slide it up. First turn there gets it started and then you can twist and tighten the dubbing towards that anchor point where you've got it in. And we just work our way up. It will spring away like there but don't worry, that's what you want. Just work your way up to, just checking my length here. You look about halfway, so it's about there. Checking if I came far enough back. Yeah, that's fine. Move the excess, bring your rib up. Usually I like to do a straight turn at the back and then work the way up. You need about four turns. Catch this in. Just going to take away the excess. Now what I'm going to do here is take my thread up towards the eye. Now head length about maybe a mil from the eye stop. 
Go back to my pheasant tail. Now I'm looking for a good, around about eight fibres, at least eight to ten fibres, to form the legs and the thorax cover. So I'll bring it 90 degrees from the stem. Tips have lined up, I tear it away. Leg length, just about the length of the, just slightly longer than the thorax. So here's your thorax length, which is there to the eye. So you check your length, just slightly longer. Just tie that on the top. And then wind the thread towards, or down the thorax. Now at this point, spread the pheasant tail fibre, because this is your thorax cover. Just bring it onto the top of the hook. And just watch where you are. I should be fine at that. That's fine. So we go back to the hairs here. So we've got more dubbing for our thorax. We got more here. It doesn't blend it within your fingers. When you pull it off, it blends, it mixes itself, but just to make sure you can mix it within your fingers. It's a very simple fly, this. Just dub it on, take it up. There's your first turn, that's your anchor point, so then you can tighten to that. And then you just check where you are, work your way up. Don't be fussy with the fly. You need to tighten up, do that. If you find your dubbing's a wee bit loose, you can always take the thread up and back down. Now what I'm going to do, this is this, I'm going to form the legs. Then I'm going to evenly split the fibre. So, just put a, like, like cat's whiskers if you want to call them. And you, there we are. Once you've got, in this case, about four or five either side, just press it with your, your finger. Make a space. And then you bring this your thorax cover over. Pull the, the fibres back. See where you are. And then what I'm going to do is basically come up with a thread once I've pulled these back. Tie it down. You can tighten it up. Now, there's enough room there that I can fold these, these fibres back. So I just fold them, tuck them back, that strengthens them up. I can nice form a nice head. Nice and tight. You can even whip finish. Just neatens the head up. Trim that away. Lift these fibres up. Trim that away. Just see how our legs are sitting. There we go. Just a simple hairs ear nymph. You can spread the tail a wee bit so you can see it, fan it out. Vanish on the head. All the way around. And there you go. That's the head vanished. Make sure the eye's clean. A bit of fluff there, so you take that away. There you are. So, yeah, that's your dark olive. As I say, just do your light yellow version, no different colours you can do what you like. Uh, it, it works extremely well. The rib can be up to yourself what you want. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.